Hello. Tim, how can I assist you today? Uh, yeah, I got a I got a dark text from you guys. Um, letting me know that the that the private fleet for Walmart is available. Uh. I got this phone number, so I would like to know more about it because it's, it's not much information in there for me. Okay. Um, is there anything specific uh, that you were wanting to know about that uh, over-the-road driver position? Uh, can you give me a little bit more details about it? Is this directly with Walmart, or is this like a third party? No, it, it's directly with Walmart. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, go ahead and tell me about it, bro. All right, let me get this. Let me get the information here pulled up on that for you. And then where what location are you at just to kind of get in a general general idea where you're where you're at with our I'm, our I'm, locations there. I'm I'm out of Ohio. So there's there's a few Walmart distributions okay. here in Ohio. Right, for sure. Okay. I know there's I know they're definitely Definitely, there's a couple. There's a couple places out there that we got got openings for. Okay. So so far right now, um, just to kind of kind of, I'll just throw some places out and then I can I'll start I'll start giving you a little bit more info on it. Um, some places we have is Wintersville, Grove City, and uh, Washington Courthouse. Okay. Are some of the places we have in Ohio right now. Okay, and I'm familiar with all three of them. Um, would this would would this be would this be uh like a local type deal or is this like over the road is this like regional what you know what, what what's it what it entails it'd be a regional over the road driving position mm -hmm. um we don't have we don't have local driving just yet uh, in a lot of locations um the only ones that i know so far that we have local is out of california right now um, they're, they're, they are looking into, you know, more of the local driving, uh, in some other States, mm -hmm. but it's, it, that's kind of more in the future to come. Um, okay. but right now it's going to be mostly, uh, regional over the road. Um, they, so far right now, they do have a, they do have an $8,000 sign on bonus. Okay. Um, well, if you join, join our Walmart private fleet, how, um, how, how is that first paid year, out? First year. So first year, uh, for the, for the 8,000. So upon upon passing or upon finishing up your onboarding and your assessments there you'll get uh you'll get your first four thousand and then after being employed with Walmart in six months you'll get the other four thousand oh okay so all this will be so my my sign on bonus will be paid up in the first year correct okay okay that's awesome all right. Now you mentioned something about uh, I'm, I'm familiar with the onboarding, but you you kind of threw in there assessments. So what what type of assessments that Walmart is looking for? So the assessments that um, that'll be part of the onboarding on the on the onboarding process. So the assessments that you'll have to you'll have to complete there uh, will be just some kind of like uh, your it'll be some driving techniques. So you'll be doing uh, uh, coupling, some coupling, um, procedures, uh, for the assessments, you'll be doing some backing maneuvers. Uh, you'll be doing a road test and then and also you'll be doing a, a full DOT, uh, inspection as part of one of the assessments that you would have to complete. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, a couple of people <laughs> with the, with the D with the, uh, with the pre-trip inspection, <laughs> you know some you know some of the people that been out here for a long time you know they they probably might not remember uh only a few things i mean i still remember my pre-trip but I'm, I'm just saying for like a few people that right that been out here for a while you know they they still you know they go up you know look for leaks and and cracks and all that all that stuff but you know some you know some better than others um all right so onboarding uh where now being that i'm out of ohio where where would i go for orientation and how would i get there so um after 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 completing um after completing a phone interview um with one of our recruiters um they will get the information sent over to you uh in regards to which location 
Um, let's say just let's just to kind of keep it a little simple. Let's say for example, Grove City is is the is the terminal that that they do onboarding at because uh, they only do it at specific locations for onboarding. So let's say Grove City is your onboarding location, and that's where you're going to be based out of. Um, you would have onboarding there, and you would you would be there for that week um, week long uh, onboarding process. After after completing onboarding and the assessments, um, you would show you would show back up that following Monday uh, to start off your two weeks two weeks of training. Okay. Um. All right. So, I I want to ask about the two weeks of training, but how how would you guys get me there? Uh, you would you would you would go personally to the terminal you would drive your personal vehicle to the terminal uh, um and then you know for example if you're if you're you know an hour or two out you know they would have they would have accommodations of a hotel uh and everything to get you get you staying there for the week oh okay 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 so i i gotta find my own transportation up up to grow city and we just using we just using grow city as an example right correct yeah that's just okay. a, just an example. Okay. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know specifically which which location is the onboarding location that they have for Ohio. Okay. So so would I get reimbursed for my transportation? Because like if I were in a car or you know, rent a car, fuel and all like that, would I be in re would I be reimbursed for that? Correct. Correct. And then also uh, you'd be paid at, in onboarding as well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So doing onboarding, that's where you know paperwork, all that good stuff. Uh, what about uh, what about pre-employment uh, drug screening, urine or or hair follicles? Uh, it should be it should be urine uh, for them. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Um. All right. So, again, we just using Grove City as a as as an example. So let's just say after after I talk to now I got now you said I got to talk to uh, a recruiter. So what are you? I mean, what 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 are you in this in the sense of 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 the process? We're just a so we're just kind of like a support. A support, uh, a support team for the recruiters and also for the driver hiring. So any kind of questions when it comes to like your questions, uh, any kind of questions if they've already up, if they already applied and they're just kind of hung up on something in the application process, uh, or if they just want to know what their status is and they can't get a hold of their recruiter, uh, those kind of things we can kind of uh, help them out and guide people in that direction. Okay, so again, like I asked you earlier, so. What what are you what are you like a third party or or you directly with We're part Walmart? of Walmart. We work and like I told you before too, I we work with Walmart. We are Walmart. Oh. I'm part of the Walmart home office. I oh, oh, oh okay, with okay, okay. The Walmart recruiters. Oh okay. We're a support system with them. <laughs> oh okay, okay. Because I was I was kind of confused there, like with, especially when you said I had to talk yeah. with a recruiter and I'm over here like, Well, am I talking to a recruiter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay no uh yeah we, we work alongside with them so they 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 the recruiters role for them is just you know reach out reach out to candidates and have interviews set up and you know get people on board oh, okay we just kind of help them do some of the other smaller things that you know oh. other things alongside you know technical issues stuff like that oh, okay so i got with you with the candidates so that's what we help out i yeah. follow you i follow you we work now. alongside with them uh <laughs> what about uh what what about um how how much would I get? Uh, how much would I get paid per mile? So it looks for the first year it'd be um, eighty seven thousand five hundred on the first year. So that'll be equivalent to eighty nine cents per mile as what? an average on the first year. Wait, run that by me again. How much a mile? <laughs> eighty nine cents per mile. So I'm looking at, and this is W two. Hello. 
Sorry, you kind of cut off there. What was uh, that? Oh, okay. And I, I, I said this is W-2? Yep. Yeah. So you'll, yeah, it's, it'll be, you know, you'll be working with the, the Walmart. You know, you'll get your, your W-2s at the end of the year. You know, okay. just like a good old, okay, so this, any other driving job. Okay, so 89 cent a mile. No, 80, listen, 80, 89 cent a mile, no chaser, man. No no incentives, no no uh, uh, bonuses or anything like that. 89 cent a mile straight out the gate. Right, not including those other things yet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Because we also do have quarterly safety bonuses as well. Okay, so what about, uh, all right, so 89 cent a mile straight out the gate. What What benefits do I get with that? So just kind of like, you know, are you talking about benefits like 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 health benefits and yes. those other kind of benefits? Yes, or, yes, or, health, health, okay. yes. So, yeah, health, health, vision, dental will be will be available to you on day one. So no waiting 30 days or 90 days in, in employment before getting them. We offer it from day one. Um, okay. Also, you know, you'll get a Walmart discount card uh, that will give you 10 percent off on general merchandise on select uh groceries uh another good thing since we're kind of getting in that time uh come time the holidays um walmart likes to be generous and give that 10 percent off across the store kind of like in the november december time um so that's also a good thing when it comes to christmas and gifts you know that, that'll that'll definitely add up pretty good okay. you also have the 401k 401k plan and a stock purchase program with Walmart as well. Four, um, 401k starts out the gate or the following year? Start, uh, it'll be the following year for them to do the the, the match, to for them to match uh, up to 6%. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, I, you can start it, you can start it from day one though. You know, I hear a lot of good things about uh, about Walmart private fleet, man. But what about uh, what about the the experience? What what experience you need to come up in there? Um, so the minimum qualification that we ask for um, from uh, right off the gate is, of course, you know, having your class A class A CDL license, um, a minimum of thirty months uh, experience in a full time class A tractor trailer driving experience um, under your belt in the previous four years. So if you've been if you've been driving, you know, at least two in the last two and a half years, tractor trailer driving, you know, mm-hmm. that that'll get you that'll get your foot in the door. Okay. okay. And then also um, another thing they look at is uh, no more than two moving violations uh, while operating your personal or commercial vehicle in the last three years. Uh, no serious traffic violations in the last three years in your commercial vehicle. Um, no preventable DLT recordable accidents um, in your commercial vehicle in the last three. Um, also, um, anything that's uh, deal, no recordable uh, DLT or no no preventable DLT recordable accidents um, that were result, resulting in disabling damage or immediate uh, medical treatment away from the scene uh, while operating your commercial vehicle in the last 10 years. Those are also some things that they also have as minimum qualifications. Oh, hold on. You say in the last 10 years, uh, no yep. accidents that involves injury after the accident? Um, it's uh, So no, no, that no preventable DOT recordable accidents. So if it, if it, if, um, if it's a non, if it's, uh, if it's prevent, if it was a preventable accident, um, then that'll be something that they would um, let you know. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to move forward. But if it was a non-preventable, um, then we would be able to keep moving forward on that. And so, it was uh, it was either through a collision, a collision resulting in di- disabling damage, uh, right. or uh, medical treatment away from the scene. Okay, so let let me see if I get that straight. And let me, you know, I'm also I'm also taking notes on this. If mm-hmm. somebody, if somebody rear, if a commercial vehicle rear-ended another commercial vehicle, that 
will be uh, a preventable. That will be uh, that will be DOT recorded. That would also uh, inquire damage to the truck. Then we wouldn't be able to move forward within the ten years of that, right? Right. If if it, if it if it showed up on your record um, as a DOT recordable and preventable accident in in within that ten years, then yes, yeah, we wouldn't be able to move forward, unfortunately. Okay, but after but the- it, but if they were, but if they if they if they if they note it, if they notated it and took it down as a non preventable, then we're all good. Okay, so how regardless of what happened. All right, so help me out here because you know this is the first time I I I, I heard you know heard somebody explain that. Um, so preventable accidents. What are are you talking about? That's recorded on the DAC report or recorded on a PSP report? Well, no, 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 no. PSP um, is for the inspections. So would this be like? On the DAC record, I mean DAC report, or would or or would you guys look at what what if that is on what if that is on the DAC report and not on the person's commercials license? Then would that still be? Um, they they would they would get that verification through your through your uh, previous employer. Okay, they'll get that they'll get that report from there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so in other words, you guys do look at the DAC report. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. 89 cent a mile, uh, but but people got to come in. So basically, people got to come in with a, I'm, I'm not going to say spotless, but a damn near spotless record to, to drive for Walmart. Close enough. And, Correct, and then also, and and don't and don't get me wrong. I mean, um, I've I've um, I've supported some of the uh, some of the recruiters and and <clears throat> in reviewing applications. And I've seen I've seen some drivers, you know, that have had that have had a um, some things on their on their record in the past. But you know, it it qualifies them because it's already been past that time frame. Right. 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 Okay. So. Okay. Um, let's get to the equipment, man. So what we'll, we'll, what equipment I'll be driving? So Walmart does have um, pretty much near uh, somewhat new uh, trucks that you'll be driving. Nothing, nothing older than 2019, I believe. Um, I'm sure some of the other locations have newer trucks, uh, but mostly we we all we just carry new trucks. Um, it can be a mix of Freightliners, Kenworths. Uh, I've I got to see a, I've seen some Volvos, so it'll be a mix of those. Okay. Um, you'll be driving either an automatic or a or a 10 speed. Um, they won't. They they don't crack down. They don't crack down that you have to know ten speed. But you know, of course, it's always good to always freshen up and be always be always uh, be being ready. able to drive that ten speed. Right, um, just in case. Yeah. If if you if you come across if you come across a truck because we do also slip seat. Okay. So, but the but the 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 position, and again, we're just using Groveport as an example. Uh, the mm-hmm. I, I won't be able to burn. I won't be, you know, to be honest with you, I haven't even seen anybody drive one of their Walmart trucks home, a sleeper or a, a or a, a day cab. But can we take our trucks home? Yeah, then, and that that's that's true. Have we don't have those trucks uh, to take home? Uh, since we keep uh, we keep uh, putting them to use for the next driver, so yeah, unfortunately they, there's no take home take home trucks. Okay, so if I do this, so basically if I do this regional thing, uh, I will come I will come on Monday, come back home Friday, drop the truck off at the yard, and then drive home, and then come back on Monday to start all over again. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen uh I haven't seen a a Walmart driver, you know, with their trucks. Uh 
<laughs> the ELD system, uh, what is it, Qualcomm, PeopleNet? Uh, that that's more of a, a human resources manager question. Oh, okay. We don't have kind of like what what equipment they use on the trucks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I do know they have a lot of tech that they go that is that's involved in it. That I can give you that, at least that. Um, it's got it's got quite a bit of tech when it comes to what they use for you know their logging systems for their routes and mm -hmm. uh, clocking in and out stuff like that, keeping track of their 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 trips and everything. Okay. Uh, they it's it's all through tech, so that's 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 as much as I I can I know that I can give you. Now, from what, from what I know, I you know I I work for a company that that pull uh, Walmart freight. Um, but is it is is it the same way that I would get the uh, that I would get the uh, the what do you call it? Um, well, let me ask you this. Would I, since I'm on Walmart privately fleet, would I be going distribution to distribution or would I be going to store to store? Or both? A mix. So it'll be a mix. Yeah, it'll be a mix uh, between distribution centers and then super centers, neighborhood markets, Sam's Clubs. So okay. wherever wherever the next the next stop would be, um, dispatch would, would have it ready for you to go on to the next next location. But it'll be a mix of all of all those. Okay, that's what's up. All right, so basically, if I could remember well, because I I was I, I was doing New Canny, Texas, uh, you know, for the uh, for the little bit while I was there. So basically, I would get the from the dispatching office. They'll just give me a number of number of stops, uh, a number of stops, and a trailer to to pick up, and 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 that'll go with that, right? Yeah, mo most mostly you'll see it through the through the uh, I guess you could say you can call it a, the tablet that that'll be equipped with you in the truck. That's oh. where you'll be able to see all your routes and everything or your next trip. Okay, uh, from there. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. All right. Um. Uh, well, I guess I I guess that's uh pretty much um uh, pretty much what I what I what I need to know. Uh, I, I, let me see you. You think uh you did you think of any uh anything that I haven't asked that you can that you could probably uh include? Um one thing that I did that did come to mind is uh also in the first year you get you get um you get uh, up to 21 days of paid time off in one in the first year mm -hmm. as well. And then uh, and but for the second year it'll go up to 23 and so on, you know, the more time you're in, the more time you're Eight time off you're gonna get. Okay, and and also Walmart has Walmart has uniforms for you. Yeah, so you'll have I was you'll have designated uniforms and everything. You know, <laughs> um, so they'll have they'll have the cleaners that you know you'll you'll have two sets. You know, you get done with one set, you'll bring it into the terminal, and then the cleaning the cleaning third party will take it and have it clean for you once you're done with your second okay. your second uh second batch. You'll have it ready. You'll have the next batch ready for you there. So we we we're subjected to to wearing the uniform pretty much. Correct. Okay. <laughs> All right. Eighty nine cent. Eighty nine cent a mile. What's the uh, what's the average miles that uh that these drivers? Well, you, you know what? You don't even have to say that. You already said that we can average about eighty nine, eighty nine k close to close to 90k at the end of the year so that's that's gonna be at least based on 3,000 miles a week right do we get paid every week or every two yeah, weeks yeah two weeks oh that's ugly now see i'm gonna have to get used to that <laughs> i definitely gonna have to get used to that right there that two that that, that two yeah. week gap oh man that's painful but mm -hmm. still 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 not a bad fleet um you know like i said i heard right. a lot and of also, good oh go ahead i was just gonna say the the average mileage that <clears throat> that we that we we like candidates know it's uh it can be any driving four to six hundred miles per day okay. and then th that's just an average do we get paid? Do we get paid per stop?
Um, I guess uh, I guess it would just be I, it would just be through the calculations of the distance, you know, calculating the distance on there. Okay. Of, of each uh, of each stop there. Okay. All right, man. Um, well, I already got the the Intelli app uh, that's connected to this uh, e or that's connected to my text. So I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely be uh, checking this out, man. Walmart. And this is direct. This this is direct Walmart. Uh, I'll be working for Walmart and nobody else Correct. but Walmart, right? Correct. You'd be part of the Walmart private fleet. Okay. Well, this I I think this is what everybody is looking for, you know, because every time we get into the trucking field and they always, you know, people always talk, you know, we always talk in the groups and we always say that. Walmart right. is one of the is one of the companies that truckers are gunning to work for because of you know because they're one of the better they're one of the better trucking companies to work for so yeah all right yeah and I mean you know I know just you know just right off the bat you know um, you know having that minimum qualification that you know you got to have at least two and a half years under your belt mm -hmm. um, just to be able to get your foot in the door. Uh, with an application so you know that that kind of speaks already you know how much you know how much you know how much we do we look into talent and then um you know we want to make sure that we can get we can get you know top of the line candidates candidates to come through because the people that we come we get that come through you know we take care of them from day one that's what's up. That's what's up, man. And I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the time that you uh take out to talk to me too, man. Um Okay, I I guess we covered uh covered just about everything except for uh except for when uh when when are we gonna get them get the people in there to get the people to come. So let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and uh you know finish up my notes and I'll take this back with me to my social media outlets. And, you know, and I network with a whole bunch of, you know, a whole bunch of drivers, too, that got, you know, semi good backgrounds. So I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely, uh, you know, pass the information along. Yeah, for sure. And then also another good thing, too, all that information is found on the careers page uh, as well. So if you look up the specific Grove City or any other location for the truck driving position, all that info is is actually posted up on there as well. All right, man. All right. Well, again, man, I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you very much. And uh and this is something that I'll that I'll put in consideration, yo. All right, sounds good. All right. Appreciate you. Yep, absolutely. You have a good day now. You too, sir. Thank you. Bye bye.